Hello fellow nerds, I am Sebastian Hoberg and this is the second PolygonReview.com StarCraft 2 broadcast. Today I will not only bring you an exclusive interview with uh, HD StarCraft, but he will also bring you some very interesting announcements that will make you very happy about the present as it is right now, and even more happy to hear about the coming future. You will uh, want to listen to what he has to say because it's very promising indeed, so stay tuned for that. Uh, before we go ahead though, let me just say uh, thank you for all the feedback and support you uh, gave after the first broadcast I did with Husky. I've been listening to the criticisms and uh, I'm doing my best to improve. Uh, for example, in this uh, episode I've added some uh, familiar gameplay muted to the background of the interview so you have something to feast your eyes on. It will be something you have seen before but probably don't mind seeing again. So let me know if you find it uh, helpful or distracting or whatever and I will do my best to take that on board. Other than that, uh, I'd like to say uh, sorry for broadcasting this uh, with such delay. I'm in the process of uh, moving uh, back from England to Sweden uh, which is uh, why I had quite a many things to do but uh, bear with me soon this uh, broadcast will be more frequent and more regular. Also, I've got another interview lined up that should be coming online uh, quite soon, but uh, other than that, uh, let me know in the comments uh, whom you'd like me to interview next or what to feature, and I will do my very, very best to make that happen. Well, I think that's it. Uh, let's not delay the awesomeness any further. Here's the man from San Fran, HD Starcraft. <laughs> Hello and welcome everybody to this uh, interview with me, Sebastian Koberg of the PolygonReview.com StarCraft 2 broadcast. This time the guest is HD StarCraft. Hello HD, how are we doing today? Hey Sebastian, uh, I'm doing good. It's a hot summer day right here in California, so I've got my air conditioning running right now. So uh, I do apologize if you guys hear the constant hum in the background, but uh, I don't want to sweat too hard for this interview. so. I'm sure your fans will be happy to hear that you're not suffering over there in that horrible Californian uh, warmth, uh, unlike here in London where it's rainy and quite cold. Anyway, <laughs> uh, nice to get to talk to you. Um, I remember there must have been maybe October, November last year, uh, I was rummaging through the interwebs trying to get some more StarCraft commentaries to watch. Uh, by then I was already a fan of uh, Husky and uh, he mentioned this friend of his who also did commentaries and I subscribed to you and I've been a fan ever since. Uh, my question is what made you start doing StarCraft commentaries and more importantly what made you persevere and continue and uh, reach your current position of almost 90,000 subscribers as it stands right now? Yeah. Um, well, to be honest with you, you know, I, I started. It was it was a college night, and um, it was actually during finals week. I think I've I told this story before, but uh, it was uh, during finals night, and uh, I, I had a decision. It was either study for finals, or do StarCraft commentaries on YouTube. And um, I kind of thought about it for a few minutes, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do some StarCraft commentaries, and I've never done it before. But I used to watch the old commentators from, uh, and some people who listen to this might, you know, recognize some of the old commentators like uh, Diggity and Cholera. I used oh, yeah. to listen to those guys a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I used to listen to them. And I realized that, you know, they kind of slowed down a little bit. And I thought, you know, maybe I could try my hand at this. So it was either that or studying for my uh, calculus final or something like that. So I decided to uh, do some commentaries and... Um, you know, it was it was kind of surprising. People really enjoyed it, and so I kept doing it, and uh, things just kind of took off from there. Um, 
yeah, with with the release of StarCraft Two, things have really blown up, especially. So I'm really quite surprised, and um, I'm, I'm thrilled to uh, to have things become so successful and uh, get to the point where I'm at today. Well, that's clearly been uh, quite a lot of YouTube success, especially in terms of StarCraft, which, uh, well, there were quite a few big names back in the day, but um, we were talking maybe 10,000 subscribers, and uh, that was sort of the the, the lid. Uh, but now, the sky is very much the limit, and uh, the beta is now over. You have covered it extensively, and... Uh, Quite simply, how do you look at the game? How how does it feel to you now? Uh, several thousand subscribers later, many games played, and a very successful tournament <laughs> held. Uh, does it hold up? I I think so. I think the game definitely holds up. Um, and and the the nice thing to remember is there's still going to be a couple more expansions coming out: Heart of the Swarm and Legacy of the Void. Uh, attached to Wings of Liberty, and you know it's important to note that Blizzard is a company. Um, based on their track record, they will always release patches. They'll always make sure that the game continues to evolve and and be balanced. So, just from my point of view right now, the sta- the the current state of the game, I think it's really balanced. It's extremely competitive, um, as indicated by all the tournaments that have been running already. And the fact of the matter is, you know, there's still going to be more expansions. There's still going to be a, a long, a lot of years of longevity left in StarCraft II. Um, I'm hoping another decade. And so I think the game is, yeah, I think the game is really in a good state right now. Very competitive, very exciting to watch. Uh, playing it is is an intense experience, um, especially at the high level, even at the low level. Uh, as long as you play against someone of equal caliber and skill, it can be a very intense game, and uh, that's really the beauty of StarCraft. It's very, very fun, and uh, I think it's definitely, it's definitely going to be the eSport um, in, of the future when it comes out, and it's coming soon. Well, I, I would certainly agree, but it's very nice to, have, uh, to hear you say that. Speaking of um, good things, uh, let's talk a bit about the HDH Invitational because it was quite clearly the the most, well, as I talked to Husky about last week, uh, the most star-studded tournament in the beta. And uh, I just have to ask you, uh, how did you manage to pull that off? And uh, what's next? Well, um, a lot of people don't realize, but organizing a tournament is actually quite a bit of work um and we we set about the tournament uh i think we spent about a month organizing the tournament before we even announced it to the public um so we spent about a month emailing players trying to find contacts for these players and we wanted to make sure that the tournament since this is a beta tournament, nobody really knows the absolute skill level and who's the best 16. So we figured, you know what, we're going to invite who we feel is the best. Our sponsor had a lot of input on who he wanted to invite. And um, we, we felt like it would be best to have kind of like a celebrity tournament. So, you know, we invited a lot of top stars as well as a lot of high-skilled players. And 